Today, we're going to be talking about optical sensors, and my name is Parker Hench, and I'll be presenting it. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the safety contact, and I'm going to talk about PPE, proper protection materials. And this puts in place safety measures so people won't have to go through possible injury. And as an engineer, you'll be exposed to many machines, manufacturing processes where this can happen. It can be possibly dangerous. So every workplace has their own standards for PPE. Make sure that you always wear your PPE whenever you need to, and it's always near you whenever you need to grab it. So some examples of common PPE in engineering workplaces are safety glasses, closed or steel-toed shoes, safety gloves, hard hats, reflective vests, protective sleeves, earplugs, or even masks. So for optical sensors, there's three types. The first type is a through beam sensor. This type of sensor has a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter sits opposite of the receiver, and the transmitter is going to shine a beam of light into the receiver. But when there's something blocking that beam of light from getting to the receiver, uh, the receiver sends a signal from there because it knows that something is blocking its way. The second type of optical sensor is a retroreflective sensor. This is where the transmitter and receiver are in the same body. There's going to sit opposite of it, though, a mirror reflective surface where the light beam shines back to the receiver. When this doesn't happen, though, you know that something's blocking the way because it's not able to shine the light back and there will be a signal sent from there by the receiver. The third type is a diffuse reflection sensor. A diffusion reflection sensor has both the receiver and transmitter in the same body, just as the last one. And the light beam bounces back at different angles, whether it's hitting an object or not. This helps send a signal from the receiver. So some applications that we may see from optical sensors are that um, it's able to measure the physical quality of light, which we see a lot with optical sensors. Uh, it can be both used externally or internally in anything that it's used in, but it can also measure temperature, velocity, liquid level, pressure, displacement, and position, vibrations, chemical species, pH value, and strain. And there's many more than that, but it's a lot to discuss. So some of the most common ones, though, that we see are some in phones, because a lot of us have phones now that are smart and touchscreen. So whenever you go into a different environment, such as like sunlight outside, it'll change the brightness of the screen because it knows how much physical quantity of light there is in the area you currently are. So it'll adjust according to that. Another one is in factories. Sometimes products are full or not full enough. So it'll press um, the pro products in different directions if it doesn't meet their standards, as you can see to the picture on the left. This is an overview of a spec sheet for optical sensors. And there's two examples on this one. And this is optical transducers. And an optical transducer converts rays of light into an electrical signal. It measures the physical quantity of light in the designated area like many other optical sensors. It then translates the quantity of light into a readable signal, just like optical sensors do, of course. The specification sheet shows what optical transducers need to work. So we can see that there's two different examples, the TRP and the TRB, and they're post both packaged differently because they have different dimensions, because since they're different optical sensors, um, of course, there's different features with each of them, but in order for them to work, like at the bottom one, you can see storage temperature. It has to be within those temperatures for that optical uh, sensor to continue to work in the future. So all those things need to work in order for it to do its job. So the cost of optical sensors is an optical sensor is anywhere between $20 and $500. But usually you'll see them on a low range of $20 to $75 and on a high range $250 to $500. So they're relatively cheap if you want to use some in simple situations. Here's my references.